Today we are going to learn how to perform a drain stitch. For this you will need a needle driver, pickups, suture scissors, suture, scalpel, a thicker string or tube, and your behind the knife suturing board. The drain stitch can be used for securing a JP or Blake drain placed in the OR as well as securing a chest tube. We are going to start by poking a hole in one of the wounds on our suturing board and then pull a tube or thick string through it as I've already done here. It is best to start with the stringer tube draped to the side. The first step to this stitch is to perform a simple interrupted stitch which will act as the anchoring stitch for the drain or tube. You want to have about equal length of suture on both sides when tying this anchoring stitch. I will remove the needle here as we will not need to use it for the rest of the stitch. This knot should not be super tight. You may even tie on top of a needle driver to make sure there is some space. We will then drape the string or tube down in the middle between our suture ends. From here, I will start with the left suture. I will bring the suture under the tube while using my left middle finger to create an L shape. I will then pass the suture from my right hand through the space between the tube and the L shape. I will repeat it again here. We will then move to the suture on the right. For this suture, we will make a D shape on the right side of the tube with the suture. We will pass the suture over the tube with our left hand and bring it through the hole between the tube and the D shape. Again, I will repeat this. Lastly, we need to tie the two ends together to secure the stitch. You can use a one or two handed technique for this part to secure the knot. Once you finish with this tie, you've completed the drain stitch.